Hey, I'm Nick from Cometa Camera. I'm here at Photo Plus 2015, and I'm with Wasim from Canon. And uh, we've got a couple M-series cameras here that we want to talk about. So if you don't mind, let's uh, let's take a look and let us know a little bit about the details. Sure. Um, so we just announced our uh, newest entry into the M family last week. Uh, that is the EOS M10. So what does that mean, the M-series family? Um, you know, the common industry term for this type of camera is mirrorless. We refer to it as an EOS digital camera. Basically what that means is you get that high quality EOS image quality and you also get interchangeable lenses which is what you've known EOS for. Um, this mount is just like our um, higher model M3 camera is the uh, EFM mount. Um, and so you can put EFM lenses on it and with an adapter you can put EFS and EF lenses, all of your regular Canon glass right on this camera. Um, and so that's another big feature too. So you've got the uh, the M3 that's already out, and you have the new M10. What are the differences between those two cameras primarily? Okay, um, the M3 is aimed at the advanced amateur. Maybe you're already an EOS camera user, and you're looking for a second camera, and it will be very, very similar to the high-end EOS experience. This camera over here is really aimed at the person just getting into photography, maybe they're upgrading from a smartphone. And the way I, I show the difference, I can show you the differences here, is if you look on the M3, you've got a mode dial, you've got an exposure compensation dial, and these kinds of things could be a little intimidating to a new user. So on this one, it's primarily touchscreen driven. Um, you've still got the one control dial, whereas the M3 has the wheel on the back as well, but you can change the settings manually through here. Um, through the touch screen that flips up like this. Um, we also try to make it a little bit easier. We added a creative assist mode that you can, uh, simple terms, like instead of aperture, it'll say background blur, and you can adjust that, and it's actually adjusting the aperture. But if you wanted to, it's still got raw and full manuals. You just use it through the touch screen, and it's all there. And so this is really geared at that, that entry level user. I mean, basically, the, the lenses themselves are the, uh, the EOS M mount, um, but will there, I know there's a few that are available right now that recently came out. Can we expect to see a greater uh, variety of lenses down the line? Sure. It's actually great that you mentioned lenses, because uh, the EOS M10, one of the things about it is it was really designed to be portable, so we introduced a new EFM lens with this camera. If you take a look at this lens here, it's actually collapsible, and so it gets very, very tiny for travel. This is a 15 to 45 uh, millimeter lens, and so it's uh, a little bit wider, uh, not as much telephoto as the usual kit lens, which is on the M3, which is not here, uh, which is uh, 18 to 55. Um, so in the EFM series range, we have lenses that go all the way from 11 millimeters all the way out to 200 millimeters. So we have an 11 to 22. We have a 22 millimeter prime lens. We have the 18 to 55 kit and this kit lens, and we have a 55 millimeter to 200. So we're just working out and filling out the range, and we are committed uh, to the continued development of EFM lenses. All right. So the mirrorless cameras for uh, Canon are actually uh, are coming together now, and uh, we'll see more of those in the future as well as more lenses. And until then, this is Nick from Photo Plus 2015.